All right, this is what it looks like over in Carbondale right now. It's looking pretty gray and uh, Katie, I gotta be honest, for anyone who might have some of those Sunday scaries tonight, I don't <laughs> think this weather is helping much. Yeah, it's really not. I mean, maybe the sun's starting to set a little after five. That does help, but you can't even see the sun this evening. It's just been a very gray, misty, and now chilly day. We actually hit our high temperatures about 12 hours ago. Right now, we're somewhere in those upper 30s. Lots going on tonight. Plenty to talk about. The first being we do have this winter weather advisory in place for most of the region. Uh, it looks like they expanded it a bit, including most of SEMO now, all of southern Illinois. So this begins in about 45 minutes or so, and it'll last through tomorrow morning. And they did that because we are tracking a pretty big system. It's that cold front that just came through today. So that's why our temperatures are cooler. You can still see a lot of this moisture down off to our south. So we're, we have the colder air from the cold front. Then we have that moisture from the south. We're going to get some freezing drizzle tonight, but that's how cold the temperatures are out in front of it. Nashville still in those low 50s along with Charlotte, but then behind it, we're somewhere in the 20s. Kansas City in the low 20s, St. Louis in those mid 20s. So it's just going to be a pretty chilly evening. You can see exactly where that cold front is. Murray right now at 46, Union City 45. So you're a bit warmer in western Kentucky, but Sparta, Fredericktown already in those upper 20s. So we have a pretty chilly night ahead somewhere in those 30s. And this isn't an icon that we see very often from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. That's freezing drizzle. That's the winter mix that we're tracking tonight. So tonight, colder conditions, that freezing drizzle, of course, you're going to want to take caution as you're heading out tonight or early tomorrow morning. The next round comes through on Monday evening. That is looking like a mixed bag for Illinois. Like seeing some sleet, some snow, and then freezing rain still continuing for SEMO and Western Kentucky. And then Tuesday, another chance of possibly a wintry mix. So plenty to keep an eye on, a lot to pay attention to for right now. We're somewhere in those 30s and 40s, fairly calm conditions, but there's that first round that we're going to see overnight tonight lingering till about 8 in the morning and then the second round uh, Monday evening. So even colder tomorrow, we're seeing a pretty widespread chance compared to at least today where it's more of a scattered chance for the most part by Tuesday morning, waking up pretty chilly somewhere in those teens and 20s. So plenty to talk about the next couple of days, plenty to keep an eye on as we're just continuing to track a uh, couple systems moving through. But as far as the timing for today goes, we're starting off seeing the rain this evening, switching over to a freezing drizzle for a lot of us. We get that quick break uh, midday Monday for the second round comes in mostly looking like freezing drizzle and that mixed bag Monday into Tuesday. So really accumulations aren't looking to be a lot, which is the good news looking between a glaze and a tenth of an inch. So really not the concern here being power outages, more so travel impact. So just be careful. This is a sneaky weather event. It's really hard to see on the ground. So roadways, bridges, overpasses, they're going to ice up pretty quickly. So great to have the storm track three up. You already know we have a couple of rounds of this to really keep an eye on that chance of winter weather tonight, Monday and Tuesday, tracking some rain to our south Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday. But the good news is if the winter weather just really makes your skin crawl, six to 10 day temperature outlook is trending warmer. Typically we're in those low 40s or we're trending warmer than that, at least in our six and 10 day. But to get there, we really have to get through the first couple of days first. Temperature is looking pretty chilly. We're somewhere in those 30s, even the upper 20s for Tuesday, slowly starting to warm up towards the end of the week. I know if you're over winter, you know, Groundhog Day is right around the corner. Hopefully, they have some good news for us. I am crossing my fingers. <laughs> I am over winter. Yeah, I feel you. All right. Thank you, Katie.